All right. You know, in the world of storytelling, love at first sight always seems to be more glorified than actually staying in love forever. We're so fascinated by the tales of star-crossed fables joined together in a flash, yet Romeo and Juliet's romance only lasted three days, if you were lucky enough to read it. And of all the ballads written on the silver screen, it's mind-blowing how the critics believe there was no greater love than West Side Story, which was a fucking tragedy and sh a shattered moving picture of true love, and that was only 48 hours long. And what do you think happened to Maria after Tony died? She lived to love another day, and probably a lifetime after, but no one wants to hear that story. No one wants to see her in the arms of another lover, see her shape up to be different, settle down, gain a little weight, grow a little whisker, especially the young men in the room, you know, the papi culos the hitters, the quitters, who promise their ladies with conflict diamonds behind their backs when the conflicts they will face ahead together will shine so much brighter when you survive them. So what does it take to love a woman forever? After your heart skips a beat, after she takes your breath away, after the honeymoon sets and the sun rises, when the makeup washes away with time, when you hope she would age like fine wine until her hourglass shape has to deal with the grapes of wrath. Will you still love her when she no longer has that look, those Sin City hips you stalked her for, when the child puts tiger stripes on the, around the piercings of her belly? Will you leave her there by herself in her dark corners to deal with her transformations? Or is the man going to loosen his tie, take off his gold bottoms, walk over to his young matriarch, crown her with bessels on the back of her shoulders? She is looking out into a new view of an old window, telling rose-colored words, we are going to be all right, baby. Let her know the long scar below the beaded jewelry of her waist is a new timeline for you to both share. Mark up with the red Sharpie. Paint the nails on her crow's feet with black chola eyeliner. Help her zip her jeans up with a wire hanger. Dust off her faja. Dance with her while you play her father's favorite bolero. Will you be there? If the dark visitor ever arrives, knocking on the front door of her breast, shave her hair for her, shave yours too, throw a punk rocker signs together in the mirror. She is looking out into a new view of an old frame where you stand by the side of a window panes with your heart built like an N1 carbon rifle. Reminder, it's us against the world by any means necessary. Y'all through sobbing, mi amor. Because to love her forever is to love her spirits her practices, her magic, her saints. Get acquainted with her generational curses like candles for her abuelitas. Cross yourself at her churches. Love her little brother Caesar, her favorite auntita. Appreciate the painted denim against her skin. Make her feel like she's the head of the house you're living in. Because to love her forever is to rise up against the, tr the traditions that have held her back. Look at patriarch in his eyes. Smear lipstick on his face. Stand up to him for her. Be patient. Stand on the front line of her rights. To be alone for once. Because to love her forever is to know your place. Don't place yourself in her shoes. Don't finish her sentences. Don't complete her thoughts. Let her look back at your love forever and know you fought diligently to be wise because the holiest of matrimonies and when she looks back at your forever love and feels like it's for her forever love too, when she sees your forever love reflected in her eyes. That's it. The fuck I'm talking about.